This edition of the 2024 Premier League Gold Coast Premier League Bowl Show. I don't know why I said Gold Coast, the Queensland <laughs> Premier League Bowl Show. More bowls to you. Uh, yeah, I am the host, John Dojo Breaker My Heart. And this is my co-host, Sean Baker. How are you, Bakesy boy? Very well. Good to Very see you well. back, mate. Yes, mate. We, uh, it feels like it's dragged on a little bit at the start of this year with a later start to the season. Normally, we're well and truly into it by now. But, yeah, uh, that's true. Starting yeah. to get itchy feet, mate. Ready to get out there. Oh, man, I can't wait for the weekend to get going. Like, we've <laughs> Me got neither. an absolute cracking season. Uh, we've done it, had made a few changes over the off season, and um, there's been lots, lots, uh, lots of changes. All voted through the AGM. Yeah, so. yeah. So um, I'm looking forward to it, mate. I can't wait for it to get started. The the changes in the squads and player movements we'll get through later in the show, and um, see who who's moved where. And, yeah, uh, the shorter, world class, shorter year, no Sundays. No so Sundays, no Sundays. That's certainly a big plus for all the uh, the family guys out there and the clubs. I like, normally, well, traditionally, we struggle to get through club championships. Uh, because of a lot of the Sunday games, so that shouldn't be a worry this year for clubs mm. to run their club stuff. So, and uh, of course, um, mate, with our with the, all the new changes and the player movements, uh, we got some like, world class bowlers again mm. back this year. It's looking strong. Um, one sitting next to us at the moment, a Team oh, USA oh, oh. representative and uh, the current US Open champion, uh, making his way over from California and uh, playing with the mighty Hamilton Power is uh, <laughs> Lauren Dion. How you are you, buddy? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. A little jet lagged. Uh, just flew in last night, but like you guys said, I'm excited to get into it on Saturday and see what this this well, Premier League's all about. Well, generally, when uh, Musgrave Hill and Hamilton play each other, it's Bakes and I play a game because we're playing against each other. So uh, that ha actually happens around one this year. So. Um, we'll expect a bit of banter off. throughout yeah, the show. Yeah, right? yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't mind a bit of banter, banter with Bates. Bit of slinging back and forth. Yeah. No ganging up on me though. You played, too. But... Played with them, played against them. It's always <laughs> fun either way. So. so, Lauren, mate, you've come over like a few times to Oz now. Like you've played, obviously, you played for the uh, Southern California Tsunami and the UBC. You uh, you've been over here for Worlds. Um, and you've played a few events over here. You've also played like in Hong Kong. You've also been to Potters, I think. Yeah. Um, you obviously play in America. You, you know, you're a huge advocate for the game of bowls over there in the states. And uh, mate, so like, how's it all going over there? Everything going good in the US? Like, oh, it's good. We're, we've got some new new people in charge up at the um, higher levels of the board and stuff, and um, some real forward thinkers. Um, we've started a live streaming committee, which I'm happy to be the head of. Um, yeah. So part of coming over here is actually to, <clears throat> you know, learn from you guys because you have such a well-oiled machine over here, um, you know, and anything we can do to, to emulate what you guys have going over here I think will help us. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's going good. The, the numbers are slowly rising, tournaments are getting bigger and better and, um, you know, hopefully we see more and more Aussies and other, other nationalities come out for the US Open and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> Other than like obviously flying over to play with your bestie Doge, like what what made you come over and play in the Queensland Premier League, mate? Oh, just the quality of play and the atmosphere. Um, <clears throat> I really like the longer games. We don't we don't play 21 in games back home at yeah. all, so I uh, love that and just trying to mix it with with the, some of the best in the world, you know, because you, you don't get better by playing against people who are worse than you. you get better by playing with That's true. By, against That's the best. True. So hopefully I can improve my game and come back even more well if there's anything that the Queensland Premier League does it's probably like one of the best competitions in Australia like with the with the class that we have that play on the competition so uh, you're in for a cracking season and uh, mate um, yeah hopefully you go away with a nice uh, Premier League title at the end of it mate yeah yeah I'm, and I'm playing third for the the great man Nathan Wise oh, oh, legend. Wisey um, legend that's a good pick can, up for you guys yeah and he uh, Very good pick up. quite quite the rink skip I know he won the Matador this year um that I came over for and got a lot of accolades under his belt, I'm sure. So, all right, mate, he's, he's an absolute yeah. freak of a bowler. And I've known, um, him, known him a long time too, which is good. So, we're already mates. Obviously, we're, we're streaming through a lot of our pages tonight um, on YouTube as well as the Gold Coast live stream, um, Bowls Queensland, and um, the Premier League Bowl Show itself. So, keep comments coming through. If you have any questions for Lauren or myself or Bakes, ask away, fire away. If anything you want to say throughout the show, then um, that's why we're here. We love the interaction. So um, Benny Winter's already come on and said there's two legends there and Bakes, so that's great. No, no, he, he says three legends. He says three legends. Um, How you going, DC? He wouldn't have been wrong. <laughs> uh, our sponsors, of course, uh, for the show is none other than Smith & Co Realty. Uh, Shannon and his team board. here at Paradise Points. Um, absolute, uh, absolute great bloke and yeah. legend. Uh, obviously, we thank him for his support again for the show and uh, obviously 
here at the Dolphin Cove at Paradise Point. Uh, there's a big social night going on outside at the yeah, moment under, in the, in there. on I the get, carpet. If I get a bit distracted, that's where I am. I'm just out, oh, that four-end runner. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> uh, so it's a great little club here. Well, it's a great big club, actually. And um, uh, they're looking for a... They've got some great imports coming in this this season yeah, too. Paradise Point. Yeah, so I think we'll, everyone's recruited. Pretty yeah, well we'll go year. we'll go through them very shortly. So we'll see Paradise Point, uh, the Dolphin Cove and Smith and Co. We love having them as our sponsors. Now, um, huge announcement for the actual Premier League. We do have a new sponsor. Yes, the naming yes. rights sponsors for the Premier League this year is um, Lawn Balls to You, yep. um, Jason and uh, Jess. They're coming on board with the Premier League yep. and do some. We've got some great little shops and uh, they run. Um, all their bowls and all their sports gear and all their shops like through lawn bowls to you so yeah, any gear you need no nah, yeah. you'll see them popping up um, all throughout the season um, we're very grateful to have them on board for the Premier League this season so um, our other sponsors of course are Club Muzzy who are hosting yeah, the, the Premier League finals the Pecklins and um, we thank them for their support as well so it should be a cracking season and um, great to have those sponsors on board for the year mate it should be great fantastic and yeah lawn bowls to you was a sort of late addition after the Everything with Hence Light fell through, so it was great for them to just uh, to agree, jump on board, and be a yeah. major sponsor. It was, yeah, it was great timing, and we'd, we'd love to have them. And like I said, there's not much they don't do in, in terms of bowls, equipment, and gear, and uh, even oh. just knowledge. If you just want to give them, get in contact with them, if you need anything at all, don't be hesitate to contact them at all. Uh, look after you for sure. Well, Doge is a bit of an XG man, but mate, on the a few of the players mm-hmm. like. Um, Teasy and a few of the boys, like some of those new aero bowls that are coming out, they just look they do, so they, good. They, yeah, they, <laughs> they're cracking on. They, uh, they've sort of got a corner on the market, really. Aero, they do, they, yeah. their design and the colours and everything they do. It like, looks, it looks they, pretty they flash. Make the process easy for you, that's for sure. Yeah, to, yeah. to get exactly what you want. But, but all three hence like guys here, I think. Yeah, still, well, I'd, yeah. I'm still using an old set of mine. Well, I got had a set of bowls stolen at Woodgate in a tournament. Oh no! Yeah, back oh in the yeah, last god, year, that's right. Yeah. I haven't got a new set yet. <laughs> um, but if you had a scene that weekend, Bakes has probably lost them somewhere anyway. No, no, no. no trust me. I, um, I was frisking everyone on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bakes is looking fresh, yeah. You, J, uh, yeah JT, yeah, mate, cuts. the Mexican says you're looking fresh there, mate. The old high fade, mate. Um, it was an accident, but... So li- he's always got a one up us, doesn't he? We're going a little bit old school on the show too this year, Bakesy. We're um, going to bring in, I don't know if you guys... Mm-hmm. Uh, old enough to remember Hey Hey at Saturday but um, there used to be a guy on the Hey at Saturday called John Blackman and uh, you always just do like little voiceovers every now and then you yeah. should drop in so um, producer Robbie's going to be that man this year so if you hear a bit of over talking Robbie Allen's going to be our little uh, uh, <laughs> behind the scenes man dropping in with some lines every now and then so uh, he, he, he doesn't think he's funny but every now and then he drops some good one liners <laughs> how you going there Robbie good mate yeah good thanks John yep yeah, uh, I hope everybody can hear me. I know you guys up there can't because you've got no heads. And on. that's what we're worried about, mate. That's what yeah. we're worried about. Hardly, hardly been like, able to hear let you. Us, let us know if you can, can't hear him. I, I can say anything without you guys really knowing. <laughs> well, I actually joined our tipping comp this year as a celebrity tipper, but he wouldn't have a bar of it. I reckon he had to be the adjudicator because make sure you don't cheat like the last couple of years. Um, don't forget, uh, don't forget, old mate. For that one. <laughs> new socks every week and a diet coke for breakfast. Tony Scott. Oh yeah, that's a uh, you know that's one of ours. I think it's regular coke though. I'm, I'm, it wasn't diet, but um, a mate of ours, Sam Delisle, we were at the U.S. Open and every morning he'd have a coke with breakfast, and we gave it a try and good thing ever cure. It was awesome. And Tony uh, forgot to pack enough socks, so I took him over to a store in America and he bought a brand new pair and. <laughs> Ended up winning the U.S. Open singles, so oh, it's sort of something. Did, did you bring with you? Did he sign one of the socks for you? And he like, didn't. Kevin? No, he it's didn't. rough. And hopefully he doesn't still have those because <laughs> yeah. that was quite a while ago. But um, but yeah, I actually got some a new set before a tournament recently and did well too. So yeah, there you little go. tip for new everyone: socks, some new socks go. might, might get new you a win. Merv Ford said, uh, "How are you enjoying playing for Port, Sean?" Very enjoyable, mate. Great bunch of blokes down there and good club yeah, Port. Had a good time down in Melbourne. Uh, Maxi Kleining says a couple of good looking roosters here. Yeah, just a couple, I uh, thank you. Yes, and uh, Lawrence says thank you too. Um, Michael Brotherton says coming through loud and clear, Robbie, so that's good. Um, now, Bakes, I can't wait, so I just want to get into it. So the teams <laughs> the teams for round one. Yes. Um, and our tips, of course, because I think Doge is the carryover champion, isn't that right, Robbie? Yeah, under dubious conditions, but 
Robbie you know, is all over it this year. I do believe you you nudged him by a nose. In the last round, I think. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, still, still I still haven't been paid for that either. Yeah, so um, well, I mean, we could start pay a bit more attention this year, I think, and uh, actually <laughs> take note little notes on that. Well, let's start, let's let's have a look at the squad. So the teams okay. for this year, obviously. Oh, and uh, also we got a new we got a new club. We into the, the Premier League. League. Yes. Yeah, can't forget them. Palabar Comets. Uh, Palabar Comets are uh, into the Premier League. Successful relegation weekend, defeating Karina and Kiwana. So did very well, and uh, this the side looks good. They've done a lot of recruiting in the past couple of months and I feel like it's every couple of days you see a new Facebook post from welcoming new players so yeah. they haven't just strengthened uh, their top side per se that you know that the whole club itself is building and yeah they're recruiting a lot of players in different areas so but they got a um, they built an absolutely fantastic oh, facility, facility out there facility, yeah. it's beautiful it's one of the you know, in, in terms of indoor synthetics and there seems to be a lot more getting around these days and we're at a great one now Paradise Points lovely to play on but mm. yeah Capalaba is really good and I played on that new one nice at Helensvale yesterday, yeah. that new one. It's, it's pretty, nice, pretty nice, it? yeah. yeah. Yeah, Helensvale got a new undercover as well, so that's... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that it flooded. When we had that big rain oh, about six weeks or whatever, the whole thing. So I don't know if it was a design floor or not, but all the water must have... They got a ramp. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Green 3, whether it ran down the ramp or not, but I think the whole um, whole carpet ended up underwater, so... Oh, wow. Still running nice. Yeah, so it seems to have bounced back pretty well. No real damage, which is good. All right, Robbie, kick us off, mate. Round one, first teams. We have uh, Paradise Point up against the Tweed Heads Ospreys. Now, this team looks pretty hot. Yes, they're, uh, they, uh, and they've still got a couple more to come in. Obviously, they've got Corey and Chloe both out, I believe, trans-Tasman. So yep. um, they're only going to get better as well, but even that other side on paper looks pretty good. Uh, so they've got... First rink, you've got Sam Barkley, Simon Beggs, Luke Jones, and Gary Kelly. Uh, rink number two, Damien Delgado, Jack Moffat, Wayne Turley, and Adam McEwen. And team three is Kira Burke, Lindsay Clark, Kelvin Kirker, and Peter Taylor. And just while I'm waffling on, uh, the reason I'm saying team one, team two, and team three, because that's one of the changes this year, is, is all the clubs have listed their, their, uh, their skips or their rinks as a team number. So rather than managers having to do a draw before every game, one will play one, two will mm. play two, and say, so, yeah, we know who's going to play who weeks before it even comes close to happen. But uh, yeah, they're up against Paradise Point, who recruited very well as well. Uh, team one is Glenn Kingett, Wilson Alexander, Darren Christie, and Blake Nahn. Uh, team two is Michael Brotherton, Simon Barton, Jay Cross, and Des Can. Good to see Jay Cross getting back into it. Yeah. A little legend he is. And their third rink is Bill Cornell, Curtis Black, Judd Percy, and Kobe Barton. So they look pretty good, Paradise Point. Yeah, it's good to see. Like, oh, there's a few um, uh, all-star recruits in there. Jay yeah, Cross, Desi Can, yeah, and uh, Judd Percy. I had a uh, all, roll up at El just the other day, and all coming across there. So um, Billy Cornell's leading up there too. So it's pretty, fairly obviously Tweed missing uh, Corey and uh, or just Corey, is it? Corey I think. and Chloe, I'm and Chloe Stewart yeah. as well. So um, mate, that's a pretty hot side. Um, but here at the Dolphin Cove, they love the carpet here, and it, it runs mint. This this carpet, so. Yeah. Um, uh, Desi's been in pretty hot touch for the last couple of seasons, to be fair. And uh, Blakey Nan coming over from WA is a great inclusion to their side. Yep. And um, yeah, it's good to see um, Kobe after a few years um, playing here, getting a crack at uh, skipping the first grade side. So uh, yeah, well, uh, it, is, it is certainly different seeing a Paradise Point side without Wilson Alexander skipping. But um, yeah, he slots in nicely with uh, two of it for Blake. And uh, yeah, their rings are a little balanced to me, so it should be a good game. You want to start us off, won't you? I read the team that, so would you like to do the first uh, tip? Or? Yeah, I will. <laughs> um, uh, mate, it's hard to go past um, Tweed, even without Corey and Chloe, uh, given Peter Taylor is just an absolute freak when it comes to Premier League. Um, he's pretty pretty fair. And uh, Gary Kelly on the carpet, um, tough one, tough one. Um, I will go Tweed, two rings to one, um, first round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I'm not going to disagree with you on this one. Uh, I think um, while Paradise Point looked good, I think it's going to maybe take them a few games to find their feet uh, with the new players and whatnot, because as we all know, it can be a bit hard going on a new club and performing right off the bat. So I think Tweed are going to win on three. Uh, Tweed on three. Off, but, um, Doge 2-1. You got that, Rob? Um, 
I think um, just a couple of comments real quick. The pints look good, boys. Cheers from the hangar at Raymond Terrace. Jets. Thanks, Donna. Um, love the old Raymond Terrace club. Yeah. It's pretty fair <laughs> down there in Sydney. And um, um, Ingrid Penfold. Do you know Ingrid? Yeah, she's actually, I'm staying with um, she and, and her partner, Steve Bryan. I don't know uh, if I'm going to so. I don't know if I'm going to dob you in here, mate, but she said, I hear Lauren had a few quiet ones at uh, Broadbeach <laughs> last night and uh, hope he's feeling better. I can tell you he's not. He's dusty as hell. And um, he is choking on that one, trying to get it down. He's been sitting on that for an hour. Bakes and I already had a couple. Nah, just joking. Um, and uh, our old mate, old... Hey, Aaron is uh, come up and say good day. Aaron uh, Zingle hey. from oh, Stand Up hey, Later. Yeah. Good morning, boys. Oh, uh, is LD's hey, what time is it over there? Is um, LD's mic muted? One o'clock in the morning or something. Well, you can't hear me, AZ. Uh, we purposely did that, mate. Have you heard him talk? <laughs> we just can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nah, good, good to see you, Aaron. Hey, hope you hope you're doing well over there. Are you still living in San Fran? Is he in San Fran still? No, he's out in um, near Milwaukee. Oh, you're right. Uh, Minnesota. Go so. the Brewers. Yeah. And uh, he he really wanted to come out this year, and I'm hoping hoping we can get him out here and play in the the, the Premier League. Yeah, in, it would in be the good. Years he's, to come. He's a he's a very handy bowler. He, he's been just been getting yeah. better and better over the last couple of years. So um, um, I love catching up with um, Aaron. He's a good bloke, and um, we always have fun when he's out here and here in Oz. So hope you're doing well over there, mate. Um, Mate, yeah, uh, so who'd you go? Tweet on three. Tweet on three. All right, I'm going yeah. tweet so on So you were the one on two. that time. I was, I'm just you trying to stall until Robbie gets back to the. Yeah, um, you thing. got a sign go down, so <laughs> yeah. there's not much Robbie can't do, really. He fixes everything. <laughs> Kyle Cameron says, Wow, not my Aussie American, mate. Who was that? Kyle Cameron. Oh yeah, hey Kyle, how you going, bud? Uh, Kyle's always getting into me for for coming out here so much and just not moving over. Uh, <laughs> I, did, I did the count, and I think it's twelfth it trip. Twelfth trip. Yeah, you thinking about moving the family over at all? It's you, uh, definitely not out of the question. Yeah, yeah it's um, you know, just wanted to come see how the Premier League goes and oh, I mean, yeah, see how I uh, see how I perform. You know, once, if, once uh, you take right. part, then it's going to yeah. be hard. Yeah, the Elgester All-Star Arena is the host of the second game. Yes. And it's up on your screen now. So Elgester versus uh, Burley Heads. So they've got a different look inside this year too. Uh, obviously losing Gary and Corey is a big hit for them, but they've um, imported pretty well with Dave Ferguson and uh, Matthew Pedersen coming to the side from New South Wales. So Yeah, they got a few of the Saints boys, I believe. Um, Matthew Peterson's playing the games at Benny Twist can't. But, um, and Twisty, he'd, he'd be over at the Trans Tasman as well, right? So that's why he's. Uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah. I think she's talking now. Just to, <laughs> no, but um, yeah, the Matty Pe- I've known Matty Peterson for years, and a lot of a lot of people would know who he is. He's a, certainly a very accomplished bowler, and they're, they're going to certainly not lose anything by Twisty being out and permanently coming in. So. They're, uh, they're looking for good, Billy. They've, they've recruited well. Yeah, I see, uh, obviously, uh, Tyler was playing at Korea and they didn't get in, so he's made the move to Burley. Uh, Indy Conlon coming up from Ballina as well. Yeah. He's a great, he used to be an absolute talent, that kid. Yeah. Um, so it's good to see him over there as well. Uh, and you go, you got your Scotty Franklins and Elgester. Like, yeah, they've, um, there's no third there for Cohen or um, oh, Nick Gosley. Nick, so. Brad Harris, what are you doing, mate? I'm, I did get <laughs> his team, so that there is. Have they lost that many players? That no, come to the side no. Anymore? There, there are people going in there. Really I did joking. have his team, but I'm, I'm using my phone for the um, for the the uh, show's page, so I can't check it. But um, there is people in there. Uh, but yeah, Cohen's obviously no slouch uh, in the uh, emerging Jackaroos, and um, Glenn Glenn yeah, Pitts has good, had absolutely stellar last couple of years. And uh, been going, yeah. Nick yeah, Gosley Greek, there, Greek so God playing too. Billy Mitalinios, and yeah. Paul Gilbert leading. I did Gilly's lawns today, so I hope, I hope they're looking good, Gilly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Duna says uh, Michael Steed is a freak, so uh, he's playing third there for uh, Dale. Um, but you can uh, you have to see that for yourself because you can never trust what Duna says. So. Um, Hello, Dean. I love you, mate. Uh, <laughs> mate, you go. It's your tip. Uh, oh, I think it's hard to go past Burley in this one. Um, Al just obviously 
lost a few and they're in a, a bit of a building stage at the moment. While they've still got a talented squad, I think um, yeah, the early team's going to come together pretty well and they're going to do some damage. I think they're going to get up 3-0. 3-0. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Burley 2-1. Uh, I think uh, my old mate Nico will get up on his rink. Yes, that's fair. That's a fair so, assumption. He, he's, a, he's, he's a good um, touch and uh, he loves... He's um, a great player and we, we trolled against him actually. And yeah. Lost himself going. He played really well. And Interesting to see how he goes uh, without his old mate Poppy. So, yeah. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go Burley 2-1 and um, yeah, Nico to get up on his rink. So, yeah. Well, up next. All right. We've got the uh, Battle of the Carpets, the Pine Rivers Pirates, and the inaugural Eagles. So it is absolutely wonderful to see my old mate Robbie Wall back in the Premier League Queensland, uh, back with his old, old faithful third in Aaron Houston. <laughs> He'll be quite happy just uh, plodding along in there at three for Robbie. And uh, well, yeah, with, with Tempo and Trent leading up and two, and that's going to be that's a pretty solid drink to start with. Uh, Jesse Turnbull's moved on from Karina. He's gone over to over to Pines. He's leading up for Ryan Burnett with Andrew Todd at two and Brendan Wilson playing three. Who I believe uh, bronze is the new silver. For Brendan Wilson. <laughs> and then we got uh, Michael Breen, Justin Knight, Mark Poppy Armstrong, and Chris Rosanne. So it's an impressive looking squad. But uh, they're going to be up against it. Inogra has recruited pretty well. The yeah, from a few weeks uh, out of nominations being closed, they were looking like possibly folding and uh, not being involved in the competition. Uh, they've come through with, well, with obviously with Jason Curry and Lawn Bowles to you getting hold of the club, and they've, they've put together a pretty good side. They've got Russell Van Homrich, Bradley Felgus, Stuart McCosh, and Seamus Curtin, uh, Emma Spicer, James Wise, Jay Dorr, and Ryan Digby, and then Dean Sluice, Alan Newman, Tom Blazak, Blazik and Brendan Egan, so... Yeah, it's pretty fair. It's a good not side. A yeah, I can see side. your brain ticking over not there. Not a bad looking side. Tip here. Is this um, going to be my upset? To no. They are at Pine, which yeah. is... Uh, yeah, there's not much difference between the Pine and the Nogger Carpet, yeah, to be fair. I haven't played there I haven't um, played in for a while, but last time I was there, it was ran well. It was turning. Yeah, I... Um, like, the Pirates are pretty good. Um, Just coming off the state pennant win as well, so... Yeah, they are. Um, yeah, obviously the inclusion of Robbie and um, Houston together mm -hmm. is a is a pretty good combo. Poppy Armstrong being there, Brendan being there, um, they got a good back end. Obviously, uh, they're missing. Um, who are they missing? Caitlin, because she's Caitlin, a Trans Tasman yeah. for New Zealand. So, yep. uh, bit of a hit there. But uh, I think they will get the job done in a tight one. I think two one again, and uh, I think our Pine will just get up um, in that one. Uh, yeah, I was <laughs> sorry, I just got Judy commented on the Bowls Queensland page, when do the Bowls actually start? And that's uh, not tonight, it's Saturday. <laughs> we did, we'll just waffle on for a little while, but yeah, the Bowls kick, all kicks off on Saturday, so. Yeah, Saturday. Uh, I, tried yes. to, I tried to challenge these two for a game after the show, but. <laughs> corner they, to corner? Yeah, they, they, they weren't into it, so. Uh, I would agree with you on this one. I think Pine 2 1 will uh, we'll get up on this one as well. I have to say it's a. Uh, that's a dead round, that one, because we both did the same, but I think Pine are going to be a little bit too good. Their side looks good, and, um, yeah, coming off their state pennant win, I think they're going to come out all guns blazing, first home game of the year. I, I think Anogos going to have a good season, but... They are. Um, they're, yeah. yeah, they're not... Um, <clears throat> I think they're going to be pushing the five. If, you know, if they're not finishing fifth, they're going to be on the, sort of that sixth, seventh or eighth. So, they've, um, like I said, they recruited really well from where they were midway through the year mm. when the nominations are starting mm. to close and yep. whatnot yep. to where they are now they're a thousand times better off just to answer the question before that from the live stream uh, the live stream team will be here actually at the Dolphin Cove yeah. on Saturday from 2 o'clock so the live stream game will be the first game we read out between Paradise Point and Tweed Heads so uh, we kick things off right here at the Dolphin Cove Should be a cracker uh, too. for the live stream alright game number oh here's the big one Ready. Game number I'm four, the mighty, go. the mighty Hamilton Power <laughs> up against the Musgrave Hill Peckelins. At the powerhouse. At the powerhouse. <laughs> Music's going. Yeah. Hopefully yes. it's a Doombin day. It's going to be a storm when there's powers out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, there'll be 
be no storm. <laughs> I'm going to have to back Sean on this one because it's two against one up there. Yeah, thank oh, you. I've right? got to come in and support. Well, yeah, Robbie's a bit of a Musgrave Pelican himself, so. Um, but yeah, anyway, the teams look like this. Graham Shillington for Hamilton, Louis Strumbus, Dean McWinnie, and Shannon Gittos joins the mighty power. Uh, Steve Springate also joins the power. Jacinta Weir, Jason Moore, and the mighty Doge. And also we have the big Alan Howard, the Mallon. Toddy McIntosh is back in the fray, playing some great bowls. And uh, my old mate next to me here, Lauren, and uh, Wisey, Nathan Wise, is our skipper. Musgrave Hill have Phil Jordan, Sammy White, Greg Rolls, and the Bakes. Uh, pretty, very, pretty. Very, well, he's lucky that he's got Greg Rolls playing for him and Sammy there. He's going to get a bit of carrying going on. Yeah, but um, play with good players, mate. It's been my secret <laughs> for years. Well, it's not even a secret. I've been saying it for years. <laughs> Dean, Dean Drummond, Callum Brownie, Chris Leave, and Peter Brown skipping. Going to do some damage. Uh, the Brown Old man. Brown dog. Yeah. Brown is going to get a hold of you. And uh, <laughs> Janet Healy has joined the Pelicans. Jaden Christie, Benny Walsh, the Jet, and Tongstar. Stephen Tong. Uh, more clubs than a caveman. And Stephen Tong. Oh, we played uh, we played a fours here a few weeks ago, mate. He burnt old Tongsta. Yeah, so. well, he's due. Yeah, he's due. It's no, no, he's going to be breakaway good. season, I think. Um, I had to wait for the show because uh, you know I was a bit belated. But happy birthday for the other day, Tommy. Yeah, Stephen. Hope you had a good day, legend. And uh, can't wait to catch up with you on the weekend, mate. Um, Hopefully, he went fishing, enjoyed his day. Yeah, look, it's going to be a tough one at the powerhouse, I think. So. Mm. It's going to be a tight one, but I think uh, I'm going to go the power 3 0. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, 3 0 we'll... by less than 10 overall? Yeah. Or no, 3 0 by about 18. <laughs> 3 0 by about 18. Well, I am going to have to disagree with you. <laughs> and I think uh, the Pelicans are going to be a little bit more modest in their win and they're going to get up 2 1. I think uh, I'll sacrifice my ring for the greater good, and yeah, the other two boys will carry me over the line. He does that every week, and uh, he, he's pretty spot on most weeks too, to be fair. But um, yeah, I'm going to... Can call it. Looking forward to that one. Uh, obviously, it's a bit of a grudge match between Bakes and Doge, so uh, um, I'm looking forward to coming on the show. Hopefully, I'm looking forward to coming on the show next week. It was all a bit of fun for me. I didn't know you had a grudge. Well, Don't leave me out of that grudge match too, you know? <laughs> It's a shame that Lauren and I aren't actually playing against Bakes. So, yeah, um, it would have been nice. Bad, yeah. we'll, we'll feed him for about 20 jimmies before he gets out there. We'll be all right. Good luck with that, mate. Um... <laughs> Jake Delaney says Power and Musgrave draw. Oh, actually, it came down to the last bowl last year at the Powerhouse. So, um, uh, Aaron says Musgrave looks like a lot of different players. No, not really. Actually, no. We um, our sides stayed pretty much the same. We have got um, well, Lee Trainer out, there, and yeah. we got uh, Gary Mounsey out. Um, but yeah, now we've, we've recruited our reserves is probably no, more noticeable. Um, for mm. the, the changes in the club, like we've got, a, we've recruited a couple of really good guys from Karina, Joel Downey and Mickey Ashworth. Uh, obviously, Janet's come along. Um, Callum and Julia are coming back, which they've been with us for a couple of years mm. now. So yeah, we're well, we're looking pretty good, and we'll uh, we'll be competitive hopefully, mate. And hopefully, we can give you guys a decent game. And you know, <laughs> this, guy, this guy, this is this guy. Yeah, you know, red off. This hey, guy, man, it's got a four. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just, yeah, just Aaron, no Jay, really no Jay. Well, that's a big hit for them, mate. Missing old Jado. He's moved down to Tassie. Yeah, he's uh, moved down to Tasmania. Yeah, enjoying mate. the farm life. He is, old mate. He is. I saw a photo of him the other day, Aaron, and um, he's just got. A, I saw just a couple of eyes popping out of his yeah. shoulder. He's just he's nearly getting two heads yeah, down maybe, there now. There's a and, finger on his elbow yeah. or something that's coming out. You know, he's played a bit of golf, I think, and yeah, no, you know, they've just bought themselves a farm and. He's Glenn, happy, Glenn Maxwell said you're not playing um, this week at the Port Bakes. <laughs> no, <laughs> mate. No. No. That's not the Glenn Maxwell, is it? Surely not. Yeah, yeah we're tight. <laughs> um, he messes me after his double hundred in the World Cup semi final. Hey, Aaron says power for the win. Mate, that's my, that's mate. my boy. Way to go, uh, DC. Uh, Way to go, mate. The lawman says great to see the happy, talented Yank back here. Cheers, lawman. Mm. Yeah, good on you, lawman. Hopefully, we get to catch up while I'm out and. Uh, Come over and see you over at uh, Mudraba. Now the next game, Bakes, is they're missing a few players, but because of the Trans Tasman. But geez, uh, the, the rivalry between these two clubs yeah. is cracker jack. So missing, um, missing a few between the two clubs. Yeah, well, three three players out from the two overall, but it's still shaping up to be a uh, a cracking game as always. The the rivalry has been there, and 
We see uh, Barry Lester joining the the Brawl Beach Bulls. That's that's great for him. He's um, yeah, it's great to see him find himself a new home, and I think he'll slot in there nicely. But uh, we have Helen Helen Val, the Stephen Sale, Rowan Wilson, Adam White, and Brett Wilkie. Uh, their ring two is Luke Turner, Isaac Moore, and Jason Constable, and Nathan Rice. And their ring three is Scott DeJong, Fitzpatrick, Rowan Wilson, Andrew Howie, and Kurt Brown. So the captain's made him wait his way down from Kiwana. And is Rowan Wilson playing on two rings? He is playing on two rings. There you he go. Had some talent he there. is. Yeah, he's he's, well, he's, he's a freak. Good, he's yeah. not bad. He's yeah. not bad. Uh, he's got four bowls in his bag, so he's be right. But yeah. they're, uh, they're up against Brody. Uh, they're ring team one is Peter Hobday, Mitch Mears, Clint Bailey, Ryan George, Peter Bester. Ooh, all day, all day hard day. <laughs> Ryan George, Peter Bester. <laughs> and then you've got Bo Sampson, Roger Stevens, Jared Davis, and Barry Lester, who's going to be skipping. Uh, Brad Lawson, Reed Burgess, Tommy Nathan, and Sean. I've left the Pelicans, Ingham. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Nugwit. It's going to be, uh, yeah, that's going to be a cracker. This yeah. is a tough one to tip. I'm glad I read them out. That means you have to go uh, first. Yeah, no, so it's, it's a tough one. It's um, I can, Pat Helen's vibe. I, I, I wonder uh, if they'll play on the carpet. Well, I can say for sure uh, I rolled up with Jared Davies last night and uh, and today, and he's he's in pretty good form right now. And yep. told him I'd he's throw him a little shout-out on here. So how you doing, bud? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, yeah. That's well, yeah, he was in fine clarity. form last night. So yeah. Thanks, Luke. Um, that's right, That that's true. Uh, for um, if you just look at, there it is there, Chucky keep his blind too for Kurt. Oh, uh, there you go. Um, instead of Rowan. So Rowan's still with uh, Stevie Sale and uh, Wizza. Okay. So, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, jeez. Mate, the Hawks look pretty good, even without uh, Matty Lucas there, so um, that's a pretty solid side. Yeah, we have Matty and Kelsey out. So oh, and Kels as well, like, that's yeah, a big hit. But, um, Kelsey's a big out. Yeah. Uh, look, I can't go past the Hawks, actually, and no, I'm just because uh, they look they look pretty good on their home deck. Uh, Lurch, I think, is just going to burn. And um, I'm, I'm just sticking to my 2-1 rule this week, mate. I'm going to, except for the, Haw uh, the Mighty Power, of course, but I think uh, the Hawks 2-1. Uh, this is my my opportunity to break away from you here. Um, I'm going to go with Brody. I think um, being close to Helen a few of their players would have had a crack on the carpet if they do play there, and uh, they'll get over this week for a bit of a roll. But uh, I think Sean Ingham coming back home, his first game back for his uh, his beloved Bulls, he's going to star. He showed how important he was to us when he's his short time there, and I think he's going to um, have a big game. Um, him and his old mate Baggers, Curdy Brown, they, they're good mates and um, I think uh, we all know how annoying Sean can be when he's on a roll and he'll get going and he'll, uh, he'll do some damage so I, uh, I think Brody going to get up 2-1. Nah, Brownie will punch a few darts and he'll be all calm and relaxed <laughs> mate, he'll be right, he'll be right. Um, yeah, that's going to be a cracker that one. It's going to be a great game. Get down to the nest and um, yeah. watch that one, that's going to be an absolute belter. That, uh, that game commences at 5 o'clock on Saturday night at Helensvale, so that should be an awesome game. Um, yeah, all right, next game. The newcomers to the Premier League, yes. the Mighty Comets. They're missing uh, a couple of players are as well. Are up but... against uh, Drayton, so... Uh, there we go there, so... Um, Bakes, you have to read this one out, if you can read oh, that. Yeah, I can read that. I would assume Greg would have been all over filling that. Bowls link in. But anyway, so uh, the Capella Bar Comets, we've got um, <laughs> Brad Piper, Jaden Cattell, Rick Barnes, and Mitchell Cameron. So I've read that back to front. So Mitchell Cameron's leading, Brad Piper skipping. Uh, the next ring leading, Riley Garrick, Alfie Boston, Cody Garrick, and Kane Nelson. And their third ring, Darren Brown, Dave Thomas, John Finlayson, and Jacob Nelson. So a couple of the Belmont boys uh, coming over, notably Finno and Obviously, the Garrick's still there. Jane Cattell's been going pretty good since his move over there from Tweed, so they're, they're looking pretty good there, Capalaba. Uh, and the Outlaws also looking good. They've got a couple of a couple more uh, New South Wales players. They've got Bo Prideau from Cabramatta skipping a rink with Robbie Hammond, three, Shane Greentree, and Jay Parkinson. Their third rink from lead is Steve McNamee, Cole Hayes, M. Crichton, and Hayden Vogler. And their third rink is Andrew Batterham, Johnny Hammond, Jason Grundon, and Kenta Treacher, who is one of the nicest guys in lawn bowls you'll ever meet, Kenta. 
And Can Bull. Can Bull, yeah, he's, he's, he's tall guy, and bowler. always got a smile on his face as he's just drawing touches. He's just smooth, say, oh, you're five, silk, you're five down now, mate. Yeah. <laughs> No, he's a yeah, great guy. That's, that's, this is an interesting game. It is, one. it is. It's a big it, one for Kapalaba. You know, they, they sort of, they come in to the competition well. They they won the um, the relegation somewhat comfortably and they made the state pennant final and everything's going really well for them. And it's not a bad game for them to get for the first one, but uh, it's going to be an interesting one for them. I don't know, um, I didn't see uh, Jake Rin down. Like, I don't know, is he playing bowls? This is, I don't even see him he's in a Premier League He's been playing pennant in Melbourne, so whether he committed to Melbourne... Oh, for the season. they're still going, I'm not sure. Yeah, but, right. Um, yeah, Maybe yeah. he might come in the back half or something like that, but, uh, yeah, is there, if anyone if knows, not, let not, us know. come play at Muzzy, Jakey, kind of a game, mate. <laughs> um, did you select it there now too, are you, mate? Yeah. So, Met Jack of all <laughs> trades, mate. <laughs> Bit of the riffraff has just come in from outside from Paradise Point, so um, a couple of riffraffers over there. <laughs> uh, mate, I, um, you read that out, didn't you? So, yes, yeah, I did. Um, yeah, so it's your tip. Yeah, I'm going to go Capelaba. I think they'll uh, start the season pretty well. They've got Pipes um, skipping there and the Nelsons, so... Uh, who's it was uh, both the Nelsons skipping those rinks and, and Pipes, yep. was it? They were already out Yeah, Nelsons. Brad Piper and the Nelsons. Yeah. Uh, there you go. There we go. Tough one. Uh, Bo Prito there is a pretty good side there. I'm going to go uh, stick to the 2 1 rule. Capella bar 2 1. Bo Prito is ranked to uh, get up for the Outlaws. Yeah, Bo Prito is a very, very good player too. Yeah. Very underestimated. He plays a lot. He plays three for a lot a lot in at Cabramatta and plays a lot of bowls with Carl Healy, my old mate. And uh, yeah, he's a very, very talented he's very, player. He's a very good player, Bo Prito. Yeah. Um, that's why I'm going to go him on his rink, but it'll be 2 1 to. Capella bar and uh, just on just on the Drayton uh, Outlaws, uh, Jake's just away for this week. Ah, yeah. Okay. So no no Musgrave for him. So he is unlucky. Playing, he is playing a Drayton. Yeah. Right. Um, this is a tough one. I, it's at Capella bar, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Capella bar will win there. If it was at Drayton, I'd be picking Drayton, but I think Capella bar would be a bit too strong. Greens are pretty slick gonna, out there. I'm going to throw a spanner in the works still, though, and I'd say it's going to be one ring two. Oh, good. There's an extra think, point for the Doge. I think, extra point I think, for the uh, Doge. Kane's going to have a really big win, and the other two are going to have small losses. Yeah. So. yeah, I think the Nelsons well, will get up. Don't just, don't just go the old generic tips every week and miss, you know, bet safe, mate. You try and lash <laughs> out once every once in a while, mate. All right, mate. Well, that's our rounds <laughs> for the week, but I'll just go through real quick that... Um, if you want to catch any of the games this weekend, the live stream game is here at the at um, the Dolphin Cove, which is uh, Paradise Point versus Tweed Heads from two o'clock. Uh, if you want to get up to Tail Jess at the All Star Arena there, up against Burley Heads, their game is also at two o'clock. Uh, the mighty uh, Pine Rivers Pirates at the Pirate Cove are playing Inogra from five p.m. Um, if you want to get down to the Powerhouse at Hamilton, up against um, Musgrave Hill, it's also at five p.m. Helen's Isle and Broadbeach are at five p.m at the Hawks Nest and uh, Capella Bar and Drayton is at 12 p.m. So if you time it right, you can get to Capella Bar and then get across to the Powerhouse or to Pine Rivers and watch a couple of games. Um, but yeah, but Capella Bar and Drayton are at 12 p.m. at Capella Bar. I don't know what their, um, what, what would we call them? Their Comet, their, their stadium? I haven't, I haven't thought of Capella one for Capella Bar yet. Oh, the, um, oh. Yeah, what, what do they call them when you go and you look at the stars and the... You know, planetarium. Planetarium, there you go. At the yeah, planetarium. planetarium. Hey, that could work, that could work. All the super skips See, just waltzed in, though. Thank, um, God, they, thank God the crowd's here. I, I wouldn't have thought of that word for a million years. Planetarium. <laughs> 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 All right, so there are they, um, our tips and the sides it's for this weekend's first, first round, round of the Premier... It's oh, mate, it's cracker, round. cracker. Uh, it's really good this season. Uh, it's a shortened season, no Sunday games, double headers back to back on Saturdays. Yep. Uh, four one, clubs at one venue. Four clubs at one venue. So it venue. does, and I will now that you've brought it up. Mm. So I will right, touch mate, on sorry, it. Mate, yeah. Um, you know, there's been a lot of comments about clubs not getting as many home games and so forth because it is. There's only so many ways you can work it in terms of home or clubs getting home games, but. I think with the shorter season, those Sundays, and it's a lot better, it's not only for the players, but if, if you run your day correctly, 
you should still be able to make just as much money off that one day than what you do from the other. If you think about it, you got well, you got 56. You got 112 players here all day, as opposed to 56 players of an afternoon. Now, traditionally, I've, and I've been involved in clubs for a long time. People rock up at that four, four thirty mark. They may have a beer inside before they start, maybe one or two, then they'll go out and play and that's it. They finish, they have their mm. hamburger or whatever they go home. Well, people here, you have an hour's lunch break, you know, you, it'd, be, it'd be great, particularly with clubs that have three greens that maybe include some family opportunities or jumping castles or something to do for the kids and try and get the crowds to it. But I think it's gonna be, uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a fantastic season in terms of the draw and, and how it all runs and operates smoothly. and. Um, I think, and I think every club in the Premier League's got the old Bricky's laptops out the back too. So it's yeah, make a make a few monies, yeah, bit of money on the slap. Exactly and right. Like you, right. Just that, I think just that hours break, what you make in that period from having the double amount of people here, you should do pretty much through the course of the evening for one Saturday night home game. Or, and every club's got superstars playing, so like the supporter base from each club coming to your club as well should be quite yeah, good. If you really consider yourself a supporter, yeah. you travel and watch them anyway, even if they're playing at home or not. <laughs> All right, um, Bakes, we um, have to get Robbie to do a little bobblehead for your next segment, mate, because um, it's back again. We've got the 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 USA legend here in uh, Lauren, so uh, it's time for the Baker's dozen. And um, I know he's not going to go the easy. Bakes on just me he just gets so excited about this Ooh. segment every week, so uh, so excited. Yeah, yeah. No, I think the first question is probably the best and most important of a lot. So, no pressure, but we'll start us off. Uh, meat pie or an American hot dog? Meat pie all the way. Yes. Oh, hey, look at him, he's already moved over. Yeah. He's already moved yeah, over. Yeah, the questions are irrelevant now. We, we well, already want to say, or like, got to throw it out. <laughs> you know, you could throw a sausage roll in there too. This, I don't mind. The, um, yeah, my, that's my true. Mate, that's my true. Mate, uh, or the Aussie taco, the yeah. sausage and a bit of onion and a piece uh, of bread. That's, my mate, Aaron, I think ate all the sausage rolls in Australia though, so I don't know if there's any <laughs> left, but uh, but yeah, those are, those are good too. <laughs> Uh, so what kind of bowl do you use, mate? Like here and like you use a different bowl in Australia as what you do back home? Or? Yeah, at home I generally use a Tiger, a Tense Light Tiger. Yep. Um, and then here I'll either use XGs usually or um, I brought the Tiger 2s yeah. out as well. Just Yeah, well, it um, might be a bit slower at the powerhouse on Saturday with all the rain, mate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I actually <laughs> used them at Helensvale on the carpet and they weren't going too bad there either. So. Okay, yeah, well, our very kind bowl with yeah. Tiger 2s, so. Uh, what do you what do you like back home? What are your clubs like compared to here? Like obviously we're used to our you know bigger venues, dining, poker machines, tabs, and all that. What are your clubs pretty similar back home? Or no, they're they're generally a lot smaller, and a lot of them are on county property, so they're not uh, okay. they're not privately owned, uh, and they're not for profit or anything. So see, that's one of the biggest disadvantages we do have is that there's not a bar or a restaurant uh, yeah. at the club. Uh, we do have some good greens and some really beautiful locations. Laguna Beach is two greens right on the Pacific Ocean. Um, park all around it, you know. Plenty of people walking by and checking it out. Um, obviously, got to throw a little shout out to my club, Cambria, yeah, which is Cambria. in C Central California. Thank you Great. for lending us, lending him, us, him to us. <laughs> no, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure they're fine missing me for a couple months. But uh, do you but, have yeah. any on this time? This is not part of the Vegas. Do you have any on this time of year? Like, you missing anything to be here? Or? Yeah, I'm missing the South Central Open, which is out in Arizona. Okay. Um, and those are the best greens generally uh, in the U.S. The best grass greens, at least. Okay. And um, great tournament. Um, Lots of fun stuff to do. It's near Phoenix, so you can go watch sports games or, yeah. you know, do that. And I, th and I've heard rumors. It's not. It's not been confirmed, but I think that might be where the U.S. Open is this year. So, oh, right uh, it's in right. October. It's a good time of year out there. Weather's nice. Greens are good. So. Yeah. And what is it? What What are some of the big events in the USA? Mate? Well, what's some of the things that you you well, strive for? Well, the U.S. Open is the biggest one in my in my opinion, um, and then we have our U.S. Championships, which is where you do, you qualify through your division, okay. uh, and then play the winners of the other divisions. It's just um, a little bit longer. You have you know you have to play the couple weekends to qualify, and then you have to travel somewhere to go play in the actual yeah. event. Whereas U.S. Open is just a week, yeah. um, and then we have uh, the Southwest Open, which is my division, Southern California, and then um, the South Central Open, in Arizona. Those are kind of the the bigger events. And then, okay. There's a few private ones at Cambria. We have some decent money events, and um, some of those private ones are actually turning into some better events. So, um, 
if, if, like, if you've been over Australia a few times and you spent a little bit of time here now, have you been swooped by a magpie yet? <laughs> <laughs> have, have one of them got you yet or what? Oh, it didn't, it didn't actually get me, but it, but it had me running and yelling. And, and uh, yeah, it was, it was I, I had no idea what was going on. And uh, this one street, I went here over four old bowls. I, I went down one side and, yeah, and went to the servo. And has got great memories, mate. What they oh, know man. you. Like, once they sweep you once, they see you gone. <laughs> and I, I saw a poor lady in the same spot. She had her stroller and she was getting swooped by <laughs> as we're driving by. And, Oh, but it, it was it was freaky. I go home now and I hear a crow and I start running. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, the magpies are are they do remember you? I think you're right. They got a twenty face memory. What are some of your favorite Aussie places, mate? Well, well, I mean, I love the Gold Coast, obviously. Um, yeah. Used to do a bit more surfing and still still dabble in a little bit. So that's yeah. nice to get out there. Water's warm. Really good surf spots. Yeah. Um, been down to Rilla and love that club. Yeah, uh, Moama's a, a great one. Um, but you know, I was out with the kids and the wife last year. Mm-hmm. We did a few of the theme parks oh, yeah. and some zoos. Did you time in stuff. Sydney and then, or no, it was up. It was up on the Gold Coast up as well. Coast, so yeah. yeah, the kids love the zoos and the, the theme parks and stuff. And favorite thing about Australia is the people. It's just a, yeah. such a great culture and laid back, and everyone's yeah. everyone's real hospitable. So. so what are some of the clubs you played at while you've been here? But... Um, like I mentioned, Moama, Mo- 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 Dandenong, yeah. uh, Rarilla. Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, uh, Broad Beach a few times, Helen's Vale, yep. right here at Paradise Point, um, Mudraba, Old Musgrave, yeah, 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 been up to yeah. Windy Hill a couple times. <laughs> uh, no, it's, there's, I love them all. I mean, like I said, everyone's so welcoming and they make you feel right at home here. And um, you know, if, if you're a bowler from anywhere else in the world, you've you got to come to Australia and see it because it's just. Yeah. The next level in long bowls. It's, and it's, this is your first time in Premier League Queensland, first time playing? Sure is, yeah. Yep. So, absolutely right to, to do it. And can't thank Old Doge and Hamilton for getting me over there and Dean. And it, and is there any particular club you're looking forward to playing? Like, have you watched some live stream games and go, I don't like them, I want to play them? Or I think there's this, this, week, this Pelican. Is this the Pelican? Yeah, much, yeah, I think that's. Yep. Yeah, that, that, that old grudge match I'm, I'm looking forward to because. Uh, I uh, I was I had shown interest to even going over and playing uh, for the Pelicans and yeah, it's didn't didn't quite work out. Through, so, yeah, it's um, but you know when when Doge hit me up and said that the powerhouse was looking into mm. having an American out, that that was music to my ears as well. Oh, so I'll never tell Doge this, but you did end up at a good club, so you, you've done well there. Thanks, man. <laughs> thanks. But, uh, is there any, yeah, any club you want to? Uh, sorry. Are you looking forward to playing at any particular place? Is there something you haven't played yet that you're, you're sort of looking forward to playing that you know that you're going to be at? Or? Well, just some of the clubs I haven't been to. I don't know much yeah, about yeah. them, but, but yeah, yeah just getting, getting up to the ones a little further north. Or, um, obviously, I've spent a lot of time at Broad Beach and love playing there, but, but it'd yeah. be good to see some new new clubs, yeah. different surfaces. Have you had a good look at the draw and you know where you're going at all? Because obviously with the double head, is it a little different? But Sorry, am I mumbling again? <laughs> um, what was the question? I have to repeat that one. Sorry. Yeah, uh, <coughs> is there any particular club you want to play against? Uh, well, no. I'm just no. I'm just wrapped to play against all of them, and, yeah. and you know, you're always always just happy to play against the, the quality of players that is, are out is here. Is there a particular player? Like you've you've seen a lot of the imports in the Premier League Queensland and. Is there anyone you've looked at and thought, oh, I wouldn't mind a crack against them? You know, I've, I've played against a lot of them already. Um, yeah, you so, would do with the UBC and whatnot. But yeah, but, you know, it's the likes of Gary Kelly and, you know, yourself and Omar and Baz and the list goes on and on and on. It's hard to really pick any particular ones, but, um, yeah, it's, I couldn't really say there is. All of them. And here, well, here's the second most important question, mate. Who does Hamilton play in the final of Premier League Queensland? Wow, that is a good mm, question. Yeah, I know you've like, had like I'm not sure how much uh, Premier League you've watched or well, yeah, it's, you know, how I, much you've looked at the teams and whatnot, but I, is there uh, someone that's a, a bit of a favourite in your eyes, obviously outside of Hamilton? Or? I mean, I kind of can't look past Broad Beach, then, you know, yeah. with, with Omar and Bester and all the other, you know, Baz coming in and Nugget going back and, you know, old Tommy Nathan and Jared Davies, this kind of goes on yeah, and on. So they're, 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 a, they're a strong side and... You know, it's obviously not a, a very confident prediction, but I'd, I'd say that's probably probably them. And do you beat them in the final? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah easy, so, three yeah. weeks. 
I wouldn't say three rinks. I think I'd go with your your unusual pick, and we'll, yeah, we'll get, we'll get yeah, up big on one rink. And, it's yeah. going to happen some size stages yeah, here. So. Yeah, so. <laughs> and I'm trying to introduce kind of that concept over in the U.S. We're going to do a tournament at my club that was the the big board. Oh, it's fantastic, um, isn't it? I, yeah, it's probably one of the only sports really we can you can lose your game but still actually have a positive outcome on the overall result of the game. Like, yeah, you, you get down 15 and yep. your last ball wins it for, yep. your, for your team. All of a sudden, draw a shot and you've won the game for your team even though you've lost by 15 technically. So yeah. It's, yeah, and I, I love it too at the end of, you know, I've been in, seen pennants at other places and, you know, at the end there's always that one rink still going and everyone's kind of <laughs> gathered around <laughs> it and it's, it's like pretty exciting. Like the that time everyone's got their torches out because it's starting to get dark, so they've got their mobile phones out over the kitty. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was at Dandenong when um, Deer Park and, who was it, Melbourne were playing. Ah, uh, yes, I think Melbourne. that was after UBC, wasn't it? Or? Yeah, right before, I think yeah. it was right before, and uh, that was that was pretty pretty exciting atmosphere, so, yeah. you know. Yeah, it doesn't quite get that intense here. They're, Oh, the powerhouse they, they could get, be pretty in, intense. They, they oh, yeah. Yeah. Just, you can, well, if you can get over the music yeah. that we play, mate, you know, it's, it's just a bit loud. quiet on the green, mate. You want to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I think that's one of the main reasons they, that, I, that I got a spot, is they're expecting me to make some noise. So. Yeah, you might have to, mate. Um, nah, nah, Dino gets pretty loud, mate. He'll, yeah, 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 yeah. Be right. nah, I'll, I'll keep Dino quiet. And I was pretty vocal for the old Pelicans at the uh, Pennant Finals. Yes. And, uh, yeah. and yeah, so you know, oh, you know how I can get it. What a great day that was. Yeah. Just a couple of extras there, mate. Like, who's the one player like that you sort of like here in Australia that you've sort of loved watching to play the game? Um, probably Omar. You know, it's just, I've played against him a lot of times. Um, never played with him, but um, but just he's just such so talented, and you can never count him out of anything. And um, you know, old Bakesy boy is pretty fun to watch too. So, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but if you bring the mat with you, it's yeah, not a exactly football. Right. Right. Exactly right. <laughs> yeah. All these Facebook comments. Well, it's it, Tim it's, Twining. It's tough to. It, that's another one of those questions where it's just there's so many of them that it's. it's I, think, I think you're really going to enjoy this year. I mean, it's such a great competition, and like I said every week you play against a new team but a great team, and they're they're great in their own different ways, and you, you I think you'll learn from a, your own personal standpoint and your own bowls. And I know how much it means to you, and how much you want to. Progress on one island, you, you're going to get a lot out of this next eight or nine weeks, or yeah. whatever it is. So. Well, I'm, I'm wrapped to be here, and everyone is in, including me, making me feel at home. And if anyone gets luckily, a chance, my, have a, luckily have a my chat family uh, let, let me yeah, come over. So I got to throw a shout yeah, out to a, my lovely wife Nicole and Kira and Laney, my kids. wife, my, my daughters, <laughs> and uh, Daddy says he misses you already. And thanks for letting yeah. him come uh, chase this little dream. Uh, yeah, that's one hell of a wife there, mate, to do, yeah. that, to do that. So um, I'm just trying to get my wife to let me go to California and stay with you, but just there you go. <laughs> um, all right. Um, so, yeah, that's Baker's Dozen. That's a great story, and I love, I love the Baker's Dozen. Yeah, like, it's, uh, it's probably good. Baker's Dozen in a bit, that one. We had a few little add-on questions there, but such a great bloke. It's just hard yeah. to yeah. chat away. <laughs> got to talk him up for the first part of the season we might, I might not be saying that by the back half but we'll see just got to bring go. him up so on Saturday uh, yeah. just bring him down <laughs> oh, I, got, I, got the, I got the legend the big man behind me Wisey so if I if I miss a couple I'm sure he'll he'll, he'll pick me up alright so we go from like the nice part of the segments to the mean Ooh. part so it's obviously Doge's part is uh, what really breaks my balls and um um Robbie said I wasn't allowed to do Secrets of a State Selector, so uh, I've moved on to... Um, uh, is that a memoir? So, <laughs> this is a memoir. Is that, is that coming out on Kindle? Or? <laughs> yeah, it does. It comes out on YouTube. It's on the YouTube episode, actually. No, um, mate, m what breaks my balls is um, being the chairman of the Premier League and Bakes' live stream draw with the power of not getting one home game on the live stream. We never get one. <laughs> And uh, he breaks my balls every it's, every year. I know, I Bloody know, tournament I director. Know. It's tough. It's oh, and, uh, we'll, get, we'll get some live stream games at Muzzy at the end. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's, but that's that's all I was thinking is you guys are gonna have enough showcasing in the finals <laughs> yeah. that you don't yeah. need any regular you game. Know, the best. One, one away game. It was just you know it was just breaks my balls every year. Bakesy boy does with his tournament director work and uh, and he's always his go to when someone sprays him. And so I was like, well, you want to do the job, so. Uh, Nomination but, forms are available every year. <laughs> Never uh, seem to have great, anyone run against us. You want a great actually, job, the live stream draw is actually quite good. It, it suits like the live stream team. To be fair, like, that, Bakes breaks my balls every week, but um, just because it's Bakes. But 
other than that, to be fair on the draw, on the live stream draw... I try um, to be fair. I, I you, like to think I'm a pretty fair person. And I well, the way I looked at it this year when I saw it, it's more about... If you're watching NRL, you don't see the Tigers playing on a Friday night, do you? The Tigers don't play the Titans on Friday night, <laughs> no. You don't see the Titans <laughs> playing on a Friday Sunday, night, either. Sunday morning at 3 a.m. the so Titans play. So, the way the live stream sort of set up, I don't know, he probably didn't plan it this way because he's probably not that clever. Jana might have helped him here, but, um, um, you know, you've sort of got the best clubs playing against each other every week on the you, live stream. You want to so show so the, you got best the best games as you can so, while being fair and getting everyone, like, the, the very minimum those, is everyone is on the live stream at some point. That's correct. Yeah. Not everyone can get a home game. It's no. just not possible for everyone no. to get a home game with a draw the way it's set up. That's right. But, you know, this year it might be this way and next year it might be another way. But at the end of the day, we're trying to market the game to as best we can whilst being fair. But I think marketing the game comes first. Um, yeah. Because that's, that's why we live stream games. We, so we want to showcase how great the event is and... So to all you clubs, so um, you, you know, you make the top five and uh, you probably get a good live stream home game next it's year. Extra incentive. Uh, extra incentive. Yeah. Yeah, it is, uh, Jana's like sent me laughy faces. I don't know what that's about, but oh, I know what it's about, Jana. Yeah, I know what it's about. My forehead looks shiny. Um, is my forehead shiny? <laughs> looks like mine's, uh, sh- mine's shiny. Got a little all right. Sun, yeah. a bit of sunburn. Yeah. So, my Bakes just breaks my balls because, well, it's Bakes yeah, and he breaks my balls. Good. So I'm looking forward to breaking his balls it's on the weekend. It's taken me 18 months to get a, uh, a yeah. mention and break my <laughs> balls. I'll be as much of an A oh. as I can to you. And so going from um, going from that, we also have a new segment starting Ooh, next the, week. Yes, I like and, this. Um, I like it's this just one. one of the greatest moments I've ever seen, actually. It's just going to be... So um, Robbie's going to play the clip for you, obviously from the the great man, the Groat, the greatest Reggie of all time, um, the new treasurer of the uh, Premier League too, by the way, old Groatus. Big thank you so, to him and kept stepping on board. Yeah, mate, go nuts. Well, hello everybody, Groat here. I'm just kicking back and watching the Bowls show, and what a great start it's been. I'm also going to introduce to you a new segment coming up in weeks to come, which will be Premier League's. Roaches moments. That uh, sounds like a boot, doesn't it, eh? It's going to be me looking back at some of the old clubs, some of the old people, where are they now, some of the funnier moments that's happened in the Premier League, and I'd love your help to get some of these stories up and running. So if you think you've got a good story, it's just going to be a nice short 60 to 90 second segment, and if you've got something for me, hit me up, you'll find me on Facebook, Greatest Reggie, and tell me what your plan is. I'll come out, we'll do a little video, and we'll get it played on air. So enjoy the rest of the show, and I'll be seeing you in weeks to come. There you go. The grossest <laughs> moments, is, um, which is going to be a cool little segment. So I think yeah, he's just going to play. And if anyone's keen on getting on the grossest moments, um, contact uh, Craig Hallett, um, the Groat, who um, actually they're separate people, to be fair, Craig Hallett and the Groat. Yeah, it's um, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, look, yeah, they look similar. It's um, almost like Marshall Mathers and Eminem. It's like an alter ego. <laughs> so I think the plan is like for the greatest moments in regards to lawn bowls. So like say like Lawman, you know, back in the day with uh, Aussie Joe Bugner, like little things. Like if you've yeah. got a greatest moment in bowls. Oh, Tongy back in his Wynnum days. Yeah, Tongy yeah. back in his Wynnum days. Take him back there. You can get on the old growing over grass there and... Um, Sure, there's some good Dougie, Back Mark, Mark Jacobson, Jacobson Mc- moments. See, like like a Dougie Park. Mark Jacobson. Yeah, be gro- I've those. got a greatest moment. Yeah. Mackenzie Park hole in this little nothing club, making the Premier League final. When was Salazar. that? Oh, Jesus, great. 2005, about 2009-ish, maybe. Maybe um, Dave would uh, be able to tell us about that one. Uh, but no, yeah, there, there's a greatest moment right there. I don't think he's There's a greatest moment. <laughs> Um, Paulie yeah. Peterson and Robbie Wilde and David Wilcox days. Even um, uh, even like they're def- not not in Premier League now, but Belmont, um, yeah, wooden spooners one year, then coming back and like yeah. getting into finals next year. But yeah, yeah. any grotesque moment that you have, like well, contact uh, the Grove. Uh, last year, they, we haven't seen a winner out of the top three for a while, and they've come from fifth spot to yeah. take it out and then yeah. and win both grades as well. That's got to yeah. be a grotesque moment. That's yep. 
That, that, that's definitely a greatest moment. So if you've got a greatest moment, Saturday send it afternoon, through. Ralphie, Ralphie Loren making his Premier League debut. That's going to be <laughs> that, the greatest that, moment that in a couple be of pretty years. Great, yeah, there's, yeah. there's, 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 Might there's have the had greats. a disappointing loss, but, you know, it's still... <laughs> <laughs> there's the Groats' first greatest moment. Um, Janna says, in other words, recruit better, Doge. Hey, I'm not the recruit anymore, Janna. I don't do that shit anymore. Like, I'm, um, I'm just the rook Copper. now. I'm the rook. Yeah. Um... Aaron says, uh, A. Aaron says, new live stream announces. How does that mean? No idea. I don't know. I don't know. It's he, obviously he, too, he wants tell to you what, too wants early to in the morning, he's had a couple uh, of red wines, yeah. he's kicking back yeah, in his he's lounge back, chair. He's back. Oh, he just wants to come over and do the commentating, that's all. <laughs> well, yeah, mate, come over. I'm sure Robbie's happy to pay for A. Aaron to come over from, yeah. from over there and do some commentating. Um, Fly back and forth yeah. every week, first class ticket. <laughs> All right, so if there's any uh, extra chats that you guys want to comment on, then uh, if you've got any questions for Bakes or myself or Lauren, then uh, we'll do that right now. Otherwise, uh, we'll close the show and uh, look forward to a cracking weekend. Sorry, just, just before you close, Doge, um, there will be, as from next week on onwards, or next week's show, I will try to get a, a replay of some of the... The, the best shot of the weekend oh, yes. off the oh, spring. Yeah, yeah. Great. Did, oh, yeah. We spoke about that, didn't we? Robbie was just talking about yeah. how, um, obviously being the first show, we don't have any footage this week, but from next week we're going to get, just out of the live stream, one of the best shots of the day. Robbie's going to make a little yep. clip, um, talk us through it, talk about what hand they're playing, what sort of weight they're playing. A bit like Barry Lester's coaching video he put up the other day of Alex Marshall's shot. So you, you can do something like that, can't you, mate? Oh, I think we can, we yeah. can try something like that. <laughs> what a yeah, shot he yeah. played, a bit of a bit of a shot of the day. So that'll yeah, be, that's that'll be good. Like yeah, sh- shot of the round. We're gonna call it shot, shot of, of the round. round or shot of the live stream round. Uh, so one one shot from the live stream that made a difference in the game or uh, just an absolute cracker of a shot. Um, it's a shame you don't have many home, many live stream games, mate. You've only got one. Well, mate, yeah, well, that's right. Yeah, yeah we'll just have to be up for that one. That's all. We can just talk about it all, all show next week, mate. We'll talk about it all show next week. <laughs> Um, yeah. All right, boys. Um, <laughs> Great says, "Good show, boys." Thanks, yeah. Groats. I feel, like I feel like we're missing something. Surely there's some topic we haven't talked about that we're meant to. No, nothing that we're allowed to because no. Robbie's cutting us off now. Oh, so, that's right. Yeah. Cut us off the knees. Yeah. Can't bag this person. Can't, can't bag, bag that can't person. Can't do that. We're getting school. Yeah, it's tough we're school these days. Yeah, we're going to be yeah. politically yeah. correct the, now. Oh, the the respots back. Oh yeah, the respots oh, back. Yeah, there's no meter dead behind ends. Them. Meter behind, yeah, which I like. Like uh, Premier League uh, traditionally uh, started off with the spot, sort of on both sides, uh, sort of a meter or five feet from the tee. But that just rewards bad bowls. Like if you're narrow and heavy, you're sort of covering the spot. Whereas to that, to where the the dot is now, you sort of have to be drawing there to get there. Like you can't just rake at something and miss that particular area. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, uh, see, I like that. It's yeah. a bit more, yeah, a bit more specific, and you have to sort of play to it to cover it rather than just oh, make sure I'm up, and if I'm narrow and heavy, I cover the spot. So yeah, that'll be yeah, my right. breaks my balls next week segment. Well, I, think, I know uh, Bester will love that. He loves the respot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm, mate, I'm, the double head is the way to set up. You have to like you can't afford one game, game to go yeah. on like. If Bester, uh, we all know how good a hitter he is. If he kills seven or eight ends and finishes 45 minutes behind everyone else, well, it delays the whole day for the whole venue. So yeah, you have to have the. Makes uh, sense. And the, another hot topic would be you don't have to be a member of the club anymore that you're representing if you're a Queensland bowling member. So, for example, I'm a member of Musgrave Hill, but I could go play to another club without having to actually join that club anymore. In the past, you had to join that club. Now, if you're a bowling Queensland member, you're, you're free to play here for any Premier League club. Well, now, oh, I like the yeah, like you season say, a lot too. yes, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to clarify that though, you can't actually like say play a game from Musgrave and then no, next week once, go and play for like Pennant. Once you put your first bar, bowl down, you, you, you're but done. I think, that, and that actually goes down to Zone One in New South Wales as yeah, well. So, like included uh, Ballina, um, Kingscliff, and all those sort of places up yeah. to the Tweed and all the way up to the tip of Queensland. Um, and there's unlimited but I think that's good because a lot of clubs marquees. yeah use as many as you want you can only use two per game so you can have you might use ten for the season but only two can play per game you play 
Um, and to play finals, they still have to play their, their minimum five games to be eligible for finals. But again, they can only use two. So that's just to alleviate with, you know, the last couple of years we've seen a lot of drama in terms of clubs changing games and whatnot. Um, and the you know the draw being all fuddled and battled, but now it's the draw is a draw. You don't need to change any games for any particular reason because if you have someone unavailable, you're welcome to grab any player in Australia to play, even if it's just for the one round if you want to. So, mm. um, which I think is good. We you know we're we're trying to make it a professional event, and we want everyone to be as strong as possible. And yeah, if you need to fly it's, it's Max Kleining in from Adelaide for one week because you have someone out well you have the power to do so now if you so choose that's absolutely right yeah so I like I love that rule like it, it means that we don't have to change like there's no clubs that need yeah. to change their dates on games oh, like every zero runs on a yeah. schedule now you saw it the last two years um, just all the dramas so uh, AA runs he might he's, he's get into he it is he's on he's, fire he says respot really how you guys feel about it did the players give input on the change Mates, they did. We had an AGM and um, or representatives from each club come into the AGM and we discuss certain topics and that was one that was brought up. It gets brought up every year. Um, well, if you know the rules before you start, you should be able to adjust. Your and uh, that's that's what it is. So yeah, um, I, look, it's not. I'm, I'm not a fan of the respawn rule. Like I'll play it because it's it's part of the game and I don't mind the meter mark where, where it's been put. So that's a good thing. But um, for me, if you're playing on a nice quick green, let the balls do the work. Um, and that's an art in itself and I also think that driving is part of the game and it's an art in itself as well yeah. so you should get rewarded for a drive yeah, if you're driving the kill um, Time it should be rewarded factor. but um, we're trying to speed this game up and uh, make it entertaining and um, and yeah so if someone kills early and um, you've got to just play that meter back it's actually a little bit harder than expected because you've only got like another meter to the ditch and um, yeah it's uh, it's a different rule. We played it before, and it worked really, really well. Um, so yeah, I, I like bringing the drive into it. But um, the respite rule is also the meter mark is also it's, it's also a lot of fun when you're playing in the Premier League because the good thing about the Premier League we do a lot of things differently, and it uh, it adds the excitement to the game. So and we yeah. took away the um, you're allowed to nominate one dead end through the game, blah blah yeah. blah nonsense. It's just yeah, saves any confusion. No dead ends. Respite done. Uh, it's just a good thing that you're over there, mate. Yeah, otherwise, you probably wouldn't like the rules and you wouldn't be playing in it this year, would you, A.A. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just dirty, he's not here, that's uh, all. He's just that, that, that could he's be a part up. of it. He's yeah. blowing yeah. up. Uh, I, um, Sean Ingham. Sure, Rolf looking better than better now than uh, at the start of the show. Oh, <laughs> he's pepped yeah. up a little bit. He's pepped up, look at that. It's nice yeah. of you to join us, Nugwit. So, uh, good to see you back at the Bulls, mate. Getting no, away from it's that. not. No, Getting away from Banksy, you've made the right choice. I'm happy right for him. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, Lauren, it's great to have you on the show, mate. Uh, I hope you have a great season with the power, and um, we hope you enjoy the Premier League this year. Um, mate, maybe we'll get you on maybe later in the season and come back on the show and have a chat with us again. And um, yeah, yeah, reflect on yeah, yeah, more, more than maybe, happy to. Yeah, maybe yeah. one of the last little special appearance for the last show or something. Yeah, you should think of your own segment to bring onto the show, yeah. man. You can, uh, yeah, you're not, you're not doing nothing USA! Else. <laughs> USA! USA! <laughs> uh, so, yeah, mate, well, good luck to all the clubs this weekend for the first round of the Premier League. Can't wait to get the season started. Um, it's good to see Capella Barb into the competition. Um, hope they have a great season. And uh, to all the other clubs, enjoy your season. Uh, play hard and uh, makes a lot of noise out there on the greens. And... Um, Looking forward to seeing the live stream from the, the Gold Coast live stream di uh, team. Uh, Robbie does a great job with the live stream, Great. so um, make sure you tune in. If you can't get man can't do. if you can't get to a game, then you've got it on TV anyway. So uh, make sure you watch a game and comment, and um, have a great weekend. Say hi to your mum for me. <laughs>